Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so in this episode, we are going to learn about the social light or the login with the social network websites like Facebook, Google or the Twitter. So for these things, we will use Socialite. And Socialite is a package used for Laravel and it's an awesome awesome package which which reduce your work and let's see where it is so how we will grab this so just type Laravel socialite and here it is and yep and you have to go to github Laravel socialite and here it is and you can find the documentation and introduction everything is here and we will follow each and every steps written here and with that we will able to log in with the social networking websites so for downloading socialite you need to run this command so obviously I will copy this command from here and open terminal and here is my terminal but you can see I have server running here so I will open another terminal so here is my another terminal and here I will just paste the command and run it and you can see it will automatically download socialite to your project and after downloading we will provide the basic steps so let's see while it's downloading let's see the steps so you can see after installing we have to provide this thing so that our level knows about the socialite and here it is and after that it's easy 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 so much easy that you just have to provide the id app id the app secret and the callback url what is callback url callback url is a url when your login is successful and you want the user to redirect to your websites okay and for that we need to provide these two functions redirect to provider and handle provider callback these two function we will provide in the login control or you can use any other controllers also after that you can see we can easily grab these type of fields from our login system okay so let's see the composer here it is and you can see it's completely downloaded and now what you have to do you just have to go to the documentation as here you have to provide these things as I have just talk to you so I have to open config slash app.php and I have to copy this from here and paste it inside our config oops config app folder uh, file <laughs> okay and here you can see these are the providers and it's talking about providers so I am in the right place and now after this I can paste it here next thing is I have to copy this and paste it here just after this and it's fine let's see the next thing next thing is to give this app secrets so before doing that I will close this and I will open services.php file and here I will provide these things so I will copy this from here and paste it here and okay okay so I will use control shift and V so it's now correct and instead of github what I want I want Facebook and obviously we will get new client ID and client secret and our callback URL will be from here so you can see we have to firstly give these two functions inside the login controller so just copy these two functions from here go here and go to app http controllers auth login controller and here anywhere so I will paste it at the bottom so I will paste it here and you can see here it is given github but we want Facebook so I will say Facebook so Facebook these two will be not with capital F it's with small f 
it doesn't matter we have given small f here so that's why I have changed it here okay so next thing the routes the callback URL I have talked about so these are the route copy it from here and open web.php file paste it here so I will say Facebook socialite paste it here and instead of github again I want Facebook Facebook so our callback URL will become like this so I will copy it from here go to services instead of this I will say localhost colon 8000 because I am on 8000 and paste it so this is our callback that means when the user is signed in it will go to this callback method and which and this callback method is here and it will give the token but I want a name so let's see everything is good now we have to grab the Facebook client ID and client secrets so I will go to developer.facebook.com and create a new app here I have to provide the new app name so name let's say socialite and email is good create an app so it's asking for captcha so you submit it and it's done so now we have to go to settings and you can see the app secret is this so just copy this app secret from here to here so I have to paste it here now the app secret so I will show it it's now visible so copy this from here and instead of app secret I will paste it here so app ID is done app secret is done now the remaining part is the app domain so I will provide localhost and here I will give the platform which is web or website so I will say HTTP HTTP and localhost colon 8000 save changes and it's done so let's go to this route um, let's go to this route okay so copy it and now I will paste it here go to and it says socialite not found so I will go to login controller and click here press control shift and P say find use and I have installed PHP companion package that's why it's giving find use and it's done okay so let's go again hit refresh and it's again saying socialite not found let's see I have saved it no I have not saved it so again save it refresh and it's done you can see it's saying socialite will receive something something continue as Sarthak so I'm continuing and so it's not giving anything why because I have not returned anything so I will just return and save it go back try again and yes we can see I have my name here and this is the way we can get many fields like this get ID nickname name uh, email avatar these are the field if these are visible to the user then you can get it so this is the way we can make a social login with our socialite and if you want to just save these data to your database you can just use the user the user model so you can say user is equal to new user and then user name will be is equal to user name but it's now clashing the name so I will say user social here so that I can differentiate social and here also social so likewise and likewise the email also okay so here is the email and in this way we can just 
सेव इस सेव एंड इट्स डन नाउ यू हैव सक्सेसफुली क्रिएट अ लॉगिन एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव सक्सेसफुली सेव्ड दिस टू डेटाबेस एंड देन आफ्टर व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन जस्ट से ऑथ एंड लॉगिन विथ द ईमेल सो वी कैन यूज user social arrow email and this will allow the user to log into your system so let's see how this works so i will open this go back you can see i am refreshing and i am not logged in so let's try this so login slash facebook and it's giving the name it's fine but now when i refresh it's not doing anything because i have re returned this username so i will comment this and i will say here return done so that i can see everything is working or not so again go slash login slash facebook and it says auth user not found not a problem so i will go here say find use app slash user and it's now here and go back again login facebook and it says password field does not have default value obviously when you are creating user with uh, uh the facebook detail or any social networking details you cannot get the password so what you can do you can even make it a blank or create a default password for user so if user want to log in with your login system your login system that means by typing the email and the password then you can provide him a default password like 1234 so what you can do here we can provide password as One two three four five six, and this will be decrypted. So decrypt and decrypted. One two three four five six. So it's fine for now. And this is password. Okay. So we can see password is now having a value. Go back again. Oops. What I am doing? Login slash Facebook. let's see what error is coming okay auth not found <laughs> yes so i have to again find auth so i think this auth is better so it's now good and go back let's try and now again a new issue will come let's see what the issue is okay and it says duplicate entry for this id this is my email id which from which i have Uh, my facebook account and you can see it says duplicate entry why because i will open my sql pro so that i can show you the test database and you can see user is here and now the one user is created with this so it cannot create a new user but you can see in our system every time the user logged in it create the user so what i want i want to just firstly find so find user and it will say user colon colon where um let's say email is user social email and now what i have done here i am i am getting Uh, so i will say just first so i am getting the user from this email and if i found a user with that email then i will make the login system so i have to say here if find user is having some value then go then go here and do something else do something else so if the user is here then we just want to log in otherwise we have to create the user so i will move this up so it will now say when the user is not found with that email create that new user otherwise i will say auth dot login and return done 
with old and done with new so let's see go to chrome and go back here again login slash facebook and let's see what happened and it say guard login must implement okay so now go here and instead of email i have to just say the user whole user and instead of this user social i want to say just find user so actually what i am doing i am i am getting the whole information of user and giving to this login function and similarly here i want to say user only so that's after saving after creating a new user it i will provide the whole information of the user okay so now go and say login slash facebook and you can see done with old and now when i go back make a refresh and you can see the login is gone because now i have successfully logged in so now let's try with new information so what i will do i will just delete this value from here and i will go again so i will just refresh to make sure i am not logged in okay so go back login slash facebook and it's done with new okay you can see i have the new value here and it says done with new that means now when i refresh and i am logged in successfully so that's the magic of socialite and in the next episode we will learn about the google how to log in with google it's pretty same thing but it's the important thing is how you can get the api key and secret key so okay so after that okay so we will meet in the next episode if you have any doubt in this episode please feel free to comment me you can message me on facebook twitter and instagram you can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and don't forget to share this video with your developer friends so that everyone gets the knowledge of best thing called level we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye